Hello, and um, welcome to uh, this week's Commissioner's Update uh, for May the 24th. Uh, gee, I, I got to congratulate all you guys that went out there early in, more, in the morning yesterday, uh, the Buffoni group. Angel is my, the marshal, and uh, he always gets out there at 727 uh, or in, in that time frame, and they completed their round in that pouring cold rain very cold windy day yesterday and so it was uh uh refreshing to see that uh we had some good scores uh pete richardson who i've interviewed later on in this uh, website and in this email you can see his uh his uh interview uh went out and tried to find 36 he had uh he has a low net of that day i think of a 29 so congratulations to him and uh, a couple of more uh charles lapointe uh norm boucher also did well over 23 points each so news this week, first of all, um, I got to tell you, the billing is going to be uh, distributed this week. So you should see the uh, men's league bill at $130 on your bill this week. Uh, what typically happens, and, and the reason why I'm going to say this now, um, uh, the team situation is a bit of, in a bit of flux. There's still trades going on. Uh, to those team captains who uh, submitted trades last week that haven't been completed yet, it's not that I'm not going to. It's just that I have to, uh, everything's in a bit of flux right now. Uh, once I submit the billing, <laughs> uh, a few of the uh, members who have forgot to tell me they changed their status all of a sudden realize they're getting charged and their status will change. Uh, so I'm expecting some withdrawals from that and I, and I am still getting new members. So things are still in flux. However, we did publish a team's uh, standings yesterday. So the, the, while the teams are going to be changing, um, uh, some of those uh, numbers for your team may not stand up next week. Uh, you, you might have lost players to other teams and things of that nature, or or players have withdrawn or something of that on that kind. So, uh, give me a give me a week or two for things to stabilize before we publish a a, perma a more permanent team list. Although I will put out a team listing sometime this week. Um. Okay, match uh, the match play draws are are almost done. They will be sent out to the people participating in match play. I'm hoping by the end of today you'll get an individual email from me indicating the the draw that you're in if you're in singles and the rules for singles, or if you're in the two man, you'll you'll get an email with the two man rules and the two man draw. Um, <laughs> Initially, I looked at the two men and I had 66 teams. They're going, oh, my God, I can only take 64. What am I going to do? But then what happened was uh, two things. One, there were a few singles, people that signed up as a single, and I put them with other people. And the second thing is uh, both partners sometimes signed up their teams. So instead of 66 teams, we have 55 teams now. So that's good. Uh, the first round is going to be due uh, the end of June. It seems like it's a long time away, but for the two men especially, that's not a long time. You you uh, really have to get those matches in as quickly as possible. Things happen. A lot of things happen in June. The good news is the weather looks like it's improving, and we should have some nice warm weather. Once again, people ask me, should I play it on a Wednesday? Um, I prefer you didn't. Only because the especially for the back nine, it slows things down. Uh, if you have to, you have to go ahead. But I prefer you played it on another day. Um, fantasy golf. I've sent out the fantasy golf form. You've got till Monday, June the fifth, to make up your team. Uh, there is nothing. It costs you nothing to put a team together. I, I get people telling me, "Oh, I don't want to get involved in fantasy golf." Why not? Uh, there's nothing to it. I mean, uh, it it doesn't cost you anything. Pick four people at random if you have to. Uh, at least you get a chance for a weekly prize. Keep in mind that the points that they're scoring, your team members are scoring from weeks one to five, will be included in the final score. So you can keep a uh, keep an eye on who's doing well now uh, for your final uh, scores. Um, we uh, submitted the first team prizes yesterday. Team Aerosmith. <laughs> Uh, had 42 points over Team Mulligan, who had 41. So every member on Team Aerosmith wins $15, thanks to Pete Richardson and Mark Baker, who power their team to victory, uh, which should make uh, Steve Aerosmith pretty happy. He wasn't even there, and he wins 15 bucks. That guy is so lucky. I can't get over it. 
he was second in the uh, in the uh, PGA pool this weekend, and now he wins fifteen dollars and doesn't even have to show up. Isn't that wonderful? Um, big winners in skin yesterday. Matt Deloria, the only skin in C. Good for you, Matt. You win one hundred and twenty dollars. Skylar O'Donnell had a very uh, profitable birdie on number nine. He won an A skin for it, which is $45, but he was the only net skin and won an another $75 for that. Um, and congratulations to Curtis Dancy, who scored our first eagle of the year. He did that on number five. So uh, that's my update for this week. Uh, certainly, if you have any questions or comments, you can uh, drop me an email. Uh, and then until next week, play well.